Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video is a bit of a different one. Um, I'm sure you've all seen, if you're on TikTok, you've seen that glam look filter um, that's going around at the moment. And I thought I would try and recreate it using makeup. So um, definitely a bit of a different look for me, but I had a lot of fun doing it. So if this is something you want to see, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Fenty Beauty. This is the uh, pro filter primer but the soft silk hydrating version um, I usually use just like the the original formula but I did pick up a mini of the hydrating and the matte to try out it smells so nice it smells so sweet and I'm just gonna get a quick base down with the Estee Lord double wear this is the shade 2 and 2 buff my skin is in a bit of a state at the moment it's a bit textured I'm just quickly rushing through the base because I'm sure you've seen this a million times, but I'm just putting a little bit of the Bobbi Brown Light Peach Corrector under my eyes. And then just a bit of the Tarte Shape Tape on any blemishes and then a little bit just around the eyes just to further brighten. Okay, so I'm going to do the brows first and I'll do the blush and the powder and everything at the end. I've got this like pimple on my nose that won't be covered so I'll just go straight into the brows I kind of build that into the freckle look um, but I'm going to do my brows with the I've got the benefit micro filling brow pens and the 24 hour brow set up my usual favorite combos now I usually use the medium brow brow filler and then define the um, tails of the brows with the deep brown but I think the filter darkens your brows a little bit and if I'm not mistaken it also appears to make them a little bit more arched as well I don't know if I'm going crazy, but I'm going to fill in um, a little bit more through the brow with the deep brown. And then I'm going to do a little bit of highlight under the brow to kind of lift it all up. Now, just to prime and create like a blank canvas on the eyelid, I'm using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Just a really, really thin layer. Now, just to create some depth at the lash line, I'm going in with the Makeup Geek. This is the Full Spectrum Eyeliner in Espresso, and I'm just tight lining. And I accidentally got some onto the lid, but I've just softly smoked this out with a pencil brush. Um, in this look, all of the depth is focused on the outside of the eye and right at the lash line, and then it kind of blends up and really diffuses out. And the kind of front two thirds of the eyelids are left bare. So. I don't mind just kind of smudging that in just to the outer corner just to create a base that we can work off. Okay, and for the eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte Darling palette. Uh, I think the tones are really beautiful and match the filter quite well. They're warm, but they don't lean too orange or red. And I'm going to take that second last, if it will focus, second last matte shade. And I'm just using a kind of tapered blending brush and I'm just focusing this right at the lash line and just softly blending up to the crease. Now I don't want to bring it too far out because this is a very lifted eye look and I also don't want to bring it too far in because most of the lid is left bare. So just continuing to kind of work that color in. Just using really soft backwards and forwards motions just to kind of soften the transition between where we've got the bare eyelid and the start of this color. And I'm just taking that first matte shade in the palette. And I'm just kind of starting it on top of where we've placed that darker brown. And then just softly using really small kind of circular motions, just bringing it up towards the brow. Because when I use the filter, the brown almost did blend into the brow. Yeah, so I kept seeing this filter on TikTok and like all the girls who were using it were like gorgeous anyway. So like they don't even need to use filters. And yeah, I mean, it's a very different way than how I usually do my makeup, especially with like a lot of blush, the fake freckles, which I've tried before. And you know, I haven't had um, much success with getting it to work for me, but you know, I thought it'd be a good idea for a video. And I was trying to like prepare all the products over the last couple of days and hunt down some lashes that would suit. And then last night I was on TikTok and I saw someone doing this kind of video, but um, they didn't really do like the fake freckles and I don't think they did like lashes or anything. So I was like, well, you know, I mean, I'm sure a million and one recreations will come probably come forward within the next few weeks if they're not already there. Um, 
but you know, that I do my take on things. I did mention in one of my other videos I wanted to learn how to make myself look younger. I thought maybe my makeup was looking a little bit dated. We've even got the uh, well, somewhat of a middle part today instead of the, the side part. And there is a very soft blend of color under the eyes as well. So I'm gonna take that lighter color there and just really softly. And it's not all the way in, it's just really focused on the outer corner. Just joining up with the color on the top lash line. And then I'm just gonna take that and blend it. And for the lid color, I'm going to use, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Desert Haze palette. And this is just the pale kind of beigey color in this palette. And I'm just softly blending that over the lid. Now there's a very soft and smoky wing on this look. So I'm using, this is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the classic powder pencil. And I'm just going to very lightly start tracing along the lash line. And I'm not going all the way in. I'm kind of stopping halfway because there isn't too much color in the um, in the inner portion of the eye. So I'm just going to use a brush to smudge it in. And I can always take a little bit of the pencil on the brush as well. And I'm just taking a bit of that deeper shade and I'm just going to smoke over where I've placed that liner. Now there is a little bit of a point in the inner corner, um, but it's done with a very faint brown. So I'm going to take the MAC, this is the Quite Natural Paint Pot, and I'm just going to define that inner part of the eye because it's, it's very faint on the filter. I'm going to use some mascara. This is just the Lancome Hypnos, uh, Hypnos Drama, I think. Yeah, Hypnos Drama but I do have lashes. And that's why it took me so long to film this body video because I had lashes in mind that I wanted to use. And I know I have a pair of them somewhere and I thought they would suit it perfectly. Could not find them anywhere, even though I know I have a fresh packet. So I had to go hunting through my collection and I found a pair of model rock ones that are discontinued. So sorry guys. But the pair that I was looking for was the um, Glam by Manicare, if you're in Australia. Glam by Manicare um, Harper Lashes. They would work really well with this look. Now I'll wait for that to dry and then I'll go in with the blush. So I think that's a huge feature of this look is the blush with the freckles. There's no bronzer, there's no highlighter or anything. And I have this Fenty Beauty. This is the cream blush in Rose Latte, which I haven't had a chance to use yet, but I think it'd be perfect for this look. Now the blush is focused very high up on the cheeks. So I'm just patting that right up. And then it's brought across the bridge of the nose as well. And it's also brought onto the tip of the nose. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Powder. This is in the Light Plus. And I'm just going to set along the outside of where that wing and shadow ends, just to kind of further sharpen and define it. I don't want to like carve it out with concealer because it's not like a crisp line or anything like that. And then I'm just patting a little bit under the eyes to set as well. Now I've got a couple of these MAC paint pots. I've got Groundwork, I've got Quite Natural, and I've also got this Tom Ford uh, Brow Pomade, this like torpy color. And I'm basically just gonna use them on that kind of pointed liner brush just to dot in any freckles. I've never had much luck creating fake freckles in the past, so hopefully this doesn't just completely destroy the look. And then just kind of soften that and blend it all in. I'm just patting with that brush that I use to apply the cream blush. And I'm not swiping or blending, literally just patting it in. And then I'm also just going in with the Beauty Blender that I used to originally apply it as well. Okay, I just tried a pair and they were way too dense. So I'm going to use the Model Rock Silk Number no. 11 lashes instead. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised with how that turned out. I'm just going to pat over the front part of my brow because I think it's just a little bit too dark. And for the lipstick, oh my god, I found the actual perfect lipstick color for this look. I don't know if you can see that there. That is the MAC. This is one of their Powder Kiss lipsticks in Mullet Over. It comes in the um, traditional bullet form and also a um, liquid lipstick form. Now, it's extremely like um, blurred and softened in the filter. So I'm going to actually take like a really fluffy like eyeshadow brush and then I'm going to take this brush and just kind of softly diffuse it just outside the lip line. I think the filter really changed the shape of my lip. It just had a very like blurred um, 
finish. I think I might be a little bit too bright still. So I'm taking the MAC Lip Pencil in Chicory and I'm just tracing through the center. Just to finish up, I'm just taking like a beige eye pencil. This is the Makeup Geek one in Nude and I'm just tracing just in the waterline just to kind of brighten and create a more wide-eyed effect and i'm just using some Kryolan. this is the makeup fixing spray my favorite the one that looks like hairspray and i'm just gonna set that in place and there you have it we are all done i hope you enjoyed this look it's definitely something a bit different a bit different for me do i look like i'm a gen Zer? tell me i do please um no but i had a really yeah had a lot of fun creating this look um let me know if this is something you like maybe i can do like a tiktok series i don't know um but yeah um i'm still not sure about the fake freckles on me but i'll do like a side by side comparison of like the look um me with the filter versus me with this look so you can see what you think as always thank you so much for watching and if you have any requests for any videos or anything like that then please let me know